the organiser or the founder of a group called Stop Co-Governance. And we kind of went into bat with them when we were told that they were being denied the use of a Sport Northland venue for a public meeting because Sport Northland had some political problems with the Stop Co-Governance movement. Um, we intervened, the Free Speech Union got involved, and what do you know, Sport Northland backed down and gave Stop uh, Co-Governance a, a free venue. So we're checking back in to see how they're going, uh, how many people turned up for the sport meeting at Sport Northland, and what is next for Stop Co-Governance. Uh, and the group's leader, Julian Batchelor, joins us by video link now. G'day, Julian, how are you? Sean, how's it going? Uh, very well, <laughs> mate. Very well. Though we've got a couple of technical problems with our phone lines today. These things are sent to yeah, trial. But you're looking good. I heard about that. Yeah. Thank you. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's good. We're all good. So let's just keep, all keep right. rolling. All right. So you've had the meeting at Sport Northland. How did it go and how many people turned up? Oh, man, we had an amazing event. You know what? That was the middle of the cyclone. Yep. And uh, Sport, North, Sport, Sport Northland said, I... Oh, I don't have it because it's sort of like an OSH issue now because we've got doors slam, slamming and windows slamming. It. Se 70 people turned up. They were sitting there dripping with rain. It was horizontal rain, truly. Yeah. And uh, 70 people braved it to get to that meeting. I had phone calls from people during the morning saying, we can't get there. The roads are closed. There's a tree falling down. We've got a car load, blah, blah, blah. So... It, we ended up getting 70 people, but at the end of that meeting, it was a wonderful, wonderful meeting. It was the really hardcore, committed people were there. And um, I asked for $5,000 for uh, to print my book, and, and, they get, and they gave it no problem whatsoever. So my book gets printed uh, on, on co-governance. My book is called Co-Governance, What It Is, Why It's Wrong, and Why It Must Be Stopped, uh, is being printed uh, today. So it'll be out in the next few days. All right, that is uh, that's fantastic, Julian. And are there going to be more public meetings? Yep, we've got um, we're we're at the we're at the Northland Field Days on the second, third, and fourth of March in Dargaville. Then we've got a Dargaville event on the 9th of March. Kerry Kerry the twelfth, Kaiwaka the fifteenth, Oree with the eighteenth, Waipu the twenty fourth, Mount Eden the twenty eighth, Freeman's Bay thirtieth of March, Cambridge Town Hall the sixteenth of April, Welcome Bay Tauranga. 22nd of April, Mount Monganui, 23rd of April, Rotorua, 30th of April, Taupo, the 14th, and so on. And so um, events are popping up all over the country, and we're so excited, Sean, because there is so much interest in this topic of co-governance and, and how bad it is and why it's not right for New Zealand and why it's wrong. Yeah. And so um, we, ha we have a strategy of printing the books, and people will buy them for $1.50, and they will buy, um, a, a, you know, a, a, a handful of them and um, hand, put them in letterboxes in their street. So we have a, a businessman in um, a city in New Zealand. I've been not telling you who it is, but I met him on the street two days ago and I said, I need a full-time person. Um, I need a full-time person uh, who can coordinate this whole strategy of bypassing the mainstream media to get the information about co-governance, the truth about it, to ordinary people on the street in New Zealand. So he's going to assign a full, he's a very wealthy businessman. He's going to assign a full-time person to do that job for us, coordinate it all so we don't get double ups, people putting, you know, books in letterboxes that with, that have already been done and so on. All right. So I'm just so excited, mate, because we're on a roll. Yeah. Did you get much feedback when you raised the issue about Sport Northland? Did you get local media coverage? Have you had any other national media organisations cover what you do? We've had nobody. We've had no media coverage whatsoever. And the reason for that is the Public Interest Journalism Fund um, and how everybody's been bought out by the government. They're in the pocket of the government. The media in New Zealand now is a, is a North Korean-style uh, controlled by the government media in New Zealand. And as far as I know, you're the only one who's not bought, signed up to it, Sean. So I take my hat off to you. In fact, we've mentioned you in our book. Oh, and uh, we want to promote you as, as somebody. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, I hope you, don't, hope you don't sue us. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> not a, not but into we've that. Got, we've, got, we've, got, we've, 
No, we've got you into we, we we've got you in the book, and we've uh, promoted you as as one of the media agencies we know that hasn't signed up to this public interest journalism fund because the others are all just hopeless. They're woke. They that they're just following the, the 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 government narrative, pumping out what the government wants them to say and not wants them to say, and so you'll never get the truth about co-governance anywhere else. Yeah. Um, well, good luck with it, Julian. I'm glad we could help and do keep in touch. Um, we'll follow your progress, and if you could flick us down a copy of the book, I'd love to have a read. Yeah, no, I've talked to Ben. We're going to get you. Um, we're going to get you twenty or thirty copies or whatever you need, All and right, uh, get one we for might, every one of them. Yeah, look, we, so. we might even give them away as prizes. You know, we might give them away as prizes. Hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> always in for a deal. Hey, Why Julian, not? Julian, really, oh, what's it like up there today? Raining up there today or not? Absolutely beautiful, mate. No wind, not a cloud in the sky. The sea's looking like Lake Taupo on a still day, and uh, the ocean is beautiful. Everything's amazing. So you you wouldn't even know a cyclone's come through. It's been it's perfect. Yep. All right. I hear you, and I thank you very much indeed for your time, Julian. Julian Batchelor from Stop okay. Co Governance, an outfit you're not going to hear much about from in mainstream media because they don't agree with it. Um, John says, please don't just have ads for old people's homes. No, but we will have them because our audience suggests to me you're a, you're a wealthy bunch. Uh, most of you have got kids who leave home and you're probably working towards that transition or you've got parents working towards that transition. So why not? 